Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Recently, I had the absolute displeasure of finishing up the Shooter Born in Heaven task for the third or fourth time ever. It's still one of the most difficult tasks in my opinion, and like with most Tarkov tasks, the harder you try to do it, the harder it is to get it done. I want to show you guys a plethora of spots I like to use to get my 100 meter headshots so you can be conscious of these spots as you pass them, and maybe make the journey through Shooter Born in Heaven a little easier on yourself. Let's get to it. Before we actually dive into the maps, I want to give you guys a heads up that this task can be done with any weapon. You don't have to use a Mosin for this one. I do just because I like making it hard on myself, but if I had to pick the best gun to do this with, I suggest a 5.56 weapon like a silenced M4 with a scope. This way, if you happen to miss your first shot, you don't have to bolt anything and can quickly make a second or third attempt before the enemy gets into too big of a frenzy and runs off. To be fair, just use the weapon you're most comfortable with at distance because just getting the crosshairs lined up and accounting for bullet drop is the most important thing here. So we'll just start with Woods. Personally, Woods is the map I have the easiest time with on this task. This map has way too many 100 meter gaps to count and you can pretty much get these shots done all over, but there are a few places that can be vastly OP. Let's begin at RUAF Roadblock. From here, you should note that straight down the road are a few potential spawn points to watch for them. The field directly next to you can occasionally have people running across it, so you can always wait for that. And if you move to the rocks on your left, you can try for the impossible and snipe across Across the water to the spawns on the other side of the map. This one is greatly affected by weather as is most of this task. Obviously the clearest weather provides max visibility and makes this as easy as it can be. Now I have never used this spot but I have killed people up here. You can get on top of this rock that's between RUAF and UN roadblock and look towards the field. Before we go any further I want to stress this next point. Any spot I'm going to show you in this video can also be used against you. Some of the easiest headshots come from counter sniping people using these common spots. I'm advocating for knowledge here, not any particular playstyles. As easy as it is to pick a cheeky spot and camp, it's just as easy to check these spots and pick up easy kills. So my goal here is to make you aware, which will help you adapt on a raid by raid basis. Moving up towards cliff descent, you can find the rock known as Spine. This is the really long set of rocks that you can get on and watch Lumber Mill from. Now we move towards the water and check another spot that's a pretty well known place for people to sit. This peak next to the van in the water can be good for checking the forest on the other side as well well as the counter position for this spot which is on this rock here. This rock can also be great for sniping people from the opposite direction of where you just were. Before we leave the lumber mill area, let's hit up Dickhead Rock. Yes, that's the actual name for it. This is another great vantage point, but please be wary as it's no particular secret people can get up here. The last spot I snipe from on woods is the rock next to the east gate scav extract. Getting on here, you can see all the way down to the outskirts extract and get great shots pretty much all around you. So that's how I do woods. Again, for me, this one is the easiest, but I know people that say it's the hardest for them. So hopefully this helps someone out. Next map we'll talk about is interchange. This one is notoriously a pain in the butt. There is a chance that it might get swapped out out for reserve at some point, but for now we're stuck with it. There are only a few spots I like to use here. Please feel free to drop your favorite spots in the comments below by the way. My first spot is in a towers located around the map. Great options for using off of spawn to try and get people coming into the mall. After the first few minutes of the round, I really wouldn't recommend it though. Next, we'll move up to inside of the mall and talk about this spot outside of the Emercom store. If you get in this little spot here, you can look all the way down to the hole in the ground and snipe people that are getting on top of the boxes behind the curtain. And of course, you can also get on those boxes and look down in the other direction. Now, moving up to the second floor of the mall, I like to use the front area to look out over the parking lots. Lots of potential here for people leaving to get out or people on the highway. Now, we're going to move back inside and talk about the power station. With the way interchange is now, it might be harder to get headshots here, but also possibly easier if you spawn here. Power station is now a key point on the map as it's where you turn on the power for the mall. So, using the roof or second floor windows might net you an easy headshot. Finally, we have my favorite favorite area for interchange headshots. The Southeast or Emercom extract is such a high traffic area, it can be easy to get your headshots done here, especially if you get up on the awning above the loading docks. Remember to check up here every time you leave the mall as it's in general good for your health. That's all I got for interchange, so now let's talk about shoreline. We'll start with my favorite place, the platform at the top of the river. 
It's really easy to lay up here and look down towards power. Most people tend to go in and out of the front at some point, so it makes for an easier headshot. Now let's move to the burning gas station area for two great spots. First is the hill overlooking burning gas. Here you can see all the way to the pier and potentially get anyone who crosses in. This is usually a high traffic area, so you can definitely expect people more often than not. Next area here is the lighthouse. This gives great visual over the intersection as well, and you can also see a great distance of the road and the hill above it. Patience is needed, but you'll get some good chances here. While I'm sure there are a few good spots on Shoreline I've missed, the ones I did list are all I ever used and it seems to work out. So now we'll move on to the last map, Customs. This one is the most difficult for me every time, even though there are a few great spots. I don't know what it is, but it just gives me trouble every time. We'll start on the big red side of the map and talk about the first great spot here on top of this shack. This spot has a great view of several places over 100 meters away. You can look down towards Smuggler's Boat, check out construction, and all the open land to the right. This is probably my most recommended spot on this map to get up here is a little tricky just gotta side jump it i did do this with level one strength but i'm pretty sure you can do this at level zero next we'll move right over to the welcome to tarkov truck not far from the first spot here i sometimes lay and look across the water for people coming out of the spawn now we'll check out construction which you can also use to get a great look out over the water right in the construction area is also a little system of jumps that you could potentially use to get a good spot although it hasn't worked for me i wanted to share it you just need to master your or gazelle jumps, b hops, whatever you call them. From here, you can also watch the dorms and potentially take out anyone on the staircase. You can also hang out around this bus and snipe people on the bridge. Now, let's travel past the bridge and talk about sniper rocks. These are a great place to get overlooked on a lot of area. It's also a great place to get shot, namely from this little spot right here that I like to use at the beginning of rounds. Here, I sit and wait to see if anyone takes position at sniper rocks. If they do, it's usually an easy headshot. And that's about all the positions I take on customs to get this done. As I said earlier, you guys are more than welcome to point out any spots I missed in the comments. With a little patience, you can get Shooter Born in Heaven done. Hopefully this helped you guys out and good luck out there. Remember, I stream on Twitch as well, so come on by if you have any questions. I'm always happy to help. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next one.